It looks pretty bad. Are you serious? It doesn't look good. I'm not expecting it to be that way at all. And I think, <gasps> oh my god. I'm about to sign into the official gym shark. Like the official gym shark. <laughs> offensive possible thing that we could like say to one another and it was all done in like good faith. All right, so Gymshark just sent me a video. Apparently it's a compilation of a lot of my YouTube clips and just videos that they have that are just all over the internet, that they have whatever, just a whole bunch of stuff and they asked me to react to it. So here's a laptop and it's about 12 minutes long so let's give it a watch. What's up, YouTube? Right now, it's a very, very, very exciting day, right? Very, very, so I just pull up to my house, and there is a massive box sitting just outside my front door. Boom! Right here. That is one dilapidated box. I remember it coming in like that. I was just like, it's like a grizzly bear chewed on it, or it was just ripped apart. Like, I don't know how that happened, but. Entire box, right? I have no idea how much it weighs. Oh, it feels like 20, 30 pounds, maybe even 50. And this is all Gymshark clothes. Gymshark hooked me up with a bunch of free stuff, so right now, I'm gonna take this whole entire box to Dill's house. I remember one video in particular. It was Matt Ogus and Chris Lovato, right? Still remember that video. They were just like, oh, don't you wish you were sponsored? And they just had so much Gymshark stuff just everywhere, right? And it was just like so cool. I just wanted to have that so bad. Now coming home and just like seeing that whole entire box, in a way, it's kind of like a mini dream come true. It's, it's really cool, dude. I'm so excited. That was definitely a blissful moment because I remember I was a senior in high school. I was two months out of graduating, and that's when Gymshark reached out to me, alluding to the fact that they wanted to work with me in whatever capacity, and that was like, just huge mind blowing like dream come true type of thing because I mean I've probably said this before in many places but I was a huge fan of Gymshark like head over heels like proper fanboy since I was like 12, 13, whatever years old and yeah just like watching everyone else and stuff and the fact that they wanted to work with me and now it felt it actually feels real it's not just a digital email sitting in my inbox it's like a physical box with pounds and pounds and pounds of Gymshark goes up my doorstep actually witnessing that and experiencing it at the time was definitely a blissful moment. Christmas morning. I haven't felt like this in so long. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no, just like look how dense look how dense it all is. There's just li look look at all this nice shit. Oh, that all this nice poor shit. little kid, dude. That's some nice stuff. Shit. <laughs> That's a new wardrobe. Like, do you not? Do you, did you feel? Like, doesn't have this many shirts. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, this is new stuff too. Yeah. Fucking the new shit. The seamless, the lunar shit. The lunar shit all just came out. That's all new. Shit. What fucking yeah. new is it? I mean, Matt was just talking about it the other day. He just Wait, got, he literally he just got a care package the other day. We got one too, <laughs> dude. Shit. <laughs> This should be right about like 120 something. So a little there. butter knife. Oh, yeah. No way. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Yo, oh oh my god. god. Oh, here the lunar. This is the lunar shit. Oh, yeah. Lunar. Steve Cow looks like he's 12 there. That's funny. I'm, I'm trying these on. Everything's all packaged, all fancy yep. and shit. Wow. Front left and back right. Yeah. yeah. Damn, those are nice. Holy shit! <laughs> what are your arm measurements and how tall are you? I am six foot two and a half, and my arms are a little over fifteen, cold and sixteen with a pump. I think I must have stopped growing at whatever age I was there because I think that's the same height that I am now. Guys, here it is. I'm about to sign into the official Gym Shark. Like the official Gym Shark. Snapchat. A Snapchat. <gasps> oh. That was a cool moment. That was. I felt. I felt very powerful. <gasps> Oh, oh, Nikki Blackadder, Steve Cook, Tony Doe. Oh my god. Right, so the New York City pop up shop event was probably, not pop up, it was just a meetup at the time, but probably one of my most memorable Gymshark experiences because that's when I just started working with Gymshark and they were like, yeah, so we have this event planned. Uh, we planned a month ahead of time. We would have involved you, obviously, but we just signed you, so. 
I mean, the next pit stop on our world tour, which is what it was called at the time, was gonna be in New York City. And they're like, oh, you live in Jersey, it's real close. So like, if you wanna swing by, you're more than welcome to come. And obviously I'm like, absolutely, let's go, let's do that. So me and my friend Quinn at the time, we drove up to New York City, honestly not really knowing what to expect. I don't know if we had any expectations, but if we were asked before going what, 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 were, what our expectations would have been, I guess I would say something along the lines of, I don't know, like a you know, corporate, professional, like in terms of how you know, the Gymshark employees and staff were gonna be, so I don't know. We didn't really have much expectations, but if I had to say, it would be you know, professional-esque. And then I was rudely, not rudely is not the right word, I was just aggressively enlightened with the fact that it was not anything I could have ever possibly imagined in the sense of like it was just a young group of people that were just as abrasively, unapologetically humorous and vulgar in the best possible way. And it just felt so authentic and real. And it was just it was just an amazing time. Like I was not expecting it to be that way at all. And I think that's one of the reasons I really like, you know, like working with Gymshark because it was just it felt so real. It was so authentic. It's like British humor is very um you know, attacking, I guess it's different than like American humor, like British people are very abrasive, I guess is the word. So it was just, you know, what is the most offensive possible thing that we could like say to one another? And it was all done in like good faith and it was playful and it was just, it was, it was just hilarious. That whole trip was just, that was great. And it was mainly so great because of Noel Mack, the, um, the arbiter of the comedic playfulness. That's the right word, arbiter, I don't even know, but it sounds how it's supposed to, right? From a gym shop perspective, um, first time I'm meeting them, but honestly say, they're both very interesting, very honest. Uh, what is the Wi-Fi password at your house? <laughs> See that, you just know. Only a geek would know that. Will you pass the water? Will you pass the water? No. <laughs> That's so funny. Like, yeah, me and all, we just set it off there. It was great. So I'm here in the office again, like probably like day, day three or four, editing this video, and we have a surprise that just came in the mail. So in the UK, you can't exactly get a booster board because yeah, you, have to wait eight you, you have to wait eight to nine years to get one, right? So yeah, that was some Walmart booster board action. Let me know when you're break. Bringing David home. Oh shit! This is a real boost oh. board. <laughs> Guys, it's the funnest thing you can do. It's pretty fun until you fall like that. I just ate so much. I don't eat. Wait, how does it look? It looks pretty bad. Are you serious? It doesn't look good. Fuck! All right, you gotta take a picture of it so I can see in a second. But no, I was going right. I was ripping it, and then I wasn't paying attention, and then I got my board in the grass. And These are factual statements. Like, this is oh, what shit, happened. I'm in the grass. Then I got on the sidewalk. Then like, oh shit, this is a booster board. It's not an armor skateboard. Some shit happened. I basically I fell and I ate so much shit. Look at this, right? Everything seems completely fine, right? But if we pull this down, we literally have a bullet hole. And just look at this. What's even more fucked up is my Calvins have been shot. They've been shot. Yeah, we gotta go to the CK yeah, outlet. Go the but you know what's you know what's hilarious though? Just look. See how like the Gymshark pants are just literally do you see like would you see a scratch? No, they're good. Do you, do you even see a scratch? That's not even that's back when Gymshark used to make their clothes out of titanium nano coating. Phantom 3 standard drone. First drone I ever got. Phantom 3 standard. You need the Phantom 4 drone. David has wonky drone controls. David inverts oh, his drone. Here we go, he's losing them. Yeah, yeah, stick mode one. Aircraft disconnected. You're mm -hmm. the second most fearless drone flight I've ever seen. <laughs> you oh, you don't shit. give a shit. You just go until it just disconnects. It's combat. <laughs> what do you think of look, David's look, look, drone look, abilities, look, 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 Ben? Ben looks so young. Yeah, he'll just fly as far away from himself as he possibly can. <laughs> and then it just connect the home button and then it just records on its way back. <laughs> what advice would you give to a young upcoming drone pilot? You gotta be ready to lose them. <laughs> Anyone could take a drone, fly 300 meters in the air and just film your landscape in your mom's house and all that stuff. You gotta get very close to the ground, close to objects, around objects. David's drone is no longer with us. The drone is now in about 90 pieces. Are we here? Is this it? Is it right here? Why, why are we going in? Okay, okay. This place is huge. 
That was the first ever pop up shop, I think, right? I want to pop up. That's when I had the honest. I am troubled about this one, baby. But what you are going to see down there. Oh my god. Oh, the red camera, yes. Uh, a millimeter, no. one point. No, 1835 millimeter, 1.18 sig. It's like you can't speak English and you're trying to like say it, but you fully understand okay, it in a different language. 1835 millimeter. Okay, yeah, no, let me say. This is Lens a Sigma dyslexia. 18 235 millimeter F1.8 Sigma art lens. Such a camera snob. <gasps> Still am. Wow. That is clean. Damn, that's crazy, like, the whole plaque just in general is like so much more high quality, like, obviously if it wasn't for you, I would not be here, I would not be able to make any of these videos, I would not be able to do anything, so I highly, highly appreciate that, and just wow, that's crazy. How did I feel yeah. receiving that? I mean, it was a bit surreal, because, like, YouTubers that I'd follow when I was younger, they would get, like, plaques and stuff, it was, like, milestones of their achievements, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And obviously never in a million years, like when I was younger, that I think I was going to be doing a YouTube channel or anything like that. So doing that and then also, you know, getting the milestone accolades of like the plaques and stuff was very like surreal. And like, like I said there, that would not be possible if it wasn't because of you guys that are watching me. So we did it together and couldn't have done it without you. So thank you for that. Look at Justin Bieber. Hello, Justin Bieber. That's Justin Bieber. Yes, it is. Hello, Mr. Justin Bieber. Shit, I'm so familiar. Hey, what's up? That's Justin Bieber on the TV. Yeah, only on the TV. That's him. You want an autograph? That's him. That's me. That's Justin Bieber. Yeah, I don't know who that guy is. I don't know who she is. I don't know anyone in that situation. Randomly, this dude at checkout is like pointing at me, doing this whole Justin Bieber thing. I don't really know exactly what I was thinking at the time, but I assume that he was just trying to mess around with his wife or significant other the lady that was with him to kind of get in her head and then it's kind of weird and awkward because she's kind of being all stiff and robotic not that playful about it so either he's completely delusional and he actually thinks i'm justin bieber and he's a crazy one or she's standing there all serious and stiff kind of like what is my what is this dude doing or like he knows that i'm not that at all and he's being like super playful and his wife is either in a terrible mood or just god knows what's going through her head so i had all these possible ways of reading the situation so i just kind of just went with it and just said yeah I'm, I'm Justin Bieber, so, yeah. Oh, shit, man. Uh, this guy, he's got this. Uh, the arm wrestling rivalry with Steve Cook. This is the first time we ever went in the oh, Los Angeles oh, airport. Or San Diego airport. Two, three, one, go. <laughs> 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 Look in my eyes before this match starts. You are done, Steve. I was confident here. You know, my left arm's a strong one. I thought I was gonna do it. Three, go. Look at that. He's so strong. He's so fucking strong. Yeah, he was very strong. And at that time, I could definitely not beat him. But hey, I set it as a goal and strove for it.